Thank you, Jim. Hi, everybody. My name is Randy Weigel. I'm the Human Development Specialist with UW Extension. And uh, I'm also the project director of a program called Wyoming Agribility. And that is uh, working with ranchers and farmers who have been either injured, who have uh, limitations leading to disability, to keep them in production agriculture and keep them working in what they love to do. And I have a poster out there on reducing hearing loss in ranchers and farmers. The National Institute of Occupational Safety and Health estimates that 75% of ranchers and farmers have some kind of hearing loss. What's also starting to become a little more disturbing is the number of young people in the ages of 6 to 19 that are having some form of hearing loss. And there's a special concern on the farm environment. And so I do have an article out there, a research article, looking at that and some of the risks within the farm in environment. And so there's a, a variety, the two main concerns for ranchers and farmers is noise-induced hearing loss, either through loudness or through length of exposure. And in terms of loudness, we know that the normal range of speaking, not what I'm doing now, but the normal range of speaking is somewhere between 60 and 85 dB, or decibels. Decibels are what is used to measure the sound. But a gunshot, for example, can be up to 150 decibels. So when you're out there sighting in your favorite rifle getting ready for hunting season and you forget your earplugs, you put yourself at risk. The second one is length of exposure. Again, 60 to 85 normal kinds of uh, talking is good. But, for example, a chainsaw, an old chainsaw not with a good uh, regulator, it can get up to about 120 decibels. So again, not having your earmuffs also puts you at risk. So what causes the concern? In the inner ear is a thing called the cochlea. The cochlea has hair fibers, normal hair fibers, minuscule hair fibers, also called sensory cells, that take sound energy and transfer it to electrical impulses that goes to the brain. But when you are exposed to loud, loud noises, it's damaged. And when they're damaged, they die. And when they die, you lose them, and they don't come back. So the main kind of thing is that prevention of hearing loss. So as we get older, we still have as much hearing as we can. And so basically looking at either earplugs that are throwaway, there could be earbuds or ear uh, braids like this, bands that go around. I have some examples of ear muffs out there. And another one I have, which is really important for hearing loss prevention, is a respirator. Why a respirator? Come to the poster session, I'll tell you about autotoxicity and pesticides. Thank you.